New civics literacy requirements are coming to Purdue Fort Wayne students in order to earn their degree. It's a change that a key university facility member claims has been handled poorly and could be a deterrent to students. Jeff Newmeyer is live from the Purdue Fort Wayne campus with more. Jeff. Yeah, Caitlin, the change we're talking about, uh, catching a number of people on this campus off guard. Late last week, the Purdue Board of Trustees uh, approved a proposal putting in force new civics literacy requirements as a condition of graduating. Now, there was uh, some confusion about this initiative on several fronts, including the mistaken impression uh, by uh, some that it would only apply to Purdue's main campus in West Lafayette. In fact, it's something faculty and students here must deal with too, though the civics literacy program kicks in a year later in 2022 for the regional campuses. Students will have to take and pass a basic civics knowledge test and then will have to complete one of three other requirements, take an approved civics or government course, listen to a series of civics podcasts, or attend civics related events such as panel discussions to get the necessary credit. The board of trustees citing in support of their move surveys that indicate Americans show an extreme lack of knowledge on civics and governance issues. The faculty senate at Purdue's main campus voted the proposed changes down, but the board of trustees approved them anyway. Anthropology professor Dr. Noor Borbieva, who is uh, president of the uh, Purdue Fort Wayne chapter of the American Association of University Professors, says the action taken violates accepted principles of shared governance between university administrators and faculty, and in her mind, harms academic freedom that she feels needs to be protected. The chapter and I are afraid what precedent this sets. You know, in terms of will there be further uh, examples of the board stepping in and, and um, bringing forth the uh, partisan and the corporate interests that they represent and imposing that upon us? That is what really keeps me up at night. I don't really agree with necessarily making students forced to take a test, but I think if they, you know, have to go out and take some sort of extracurricular to maybe like learn about subject matters and that count for something, that would be awesome. So it's more so they get to choose what they're learning about. Now, the suggestion that faculty should have the final say in whether the new civics literacy requirements go forward. That's firmly rejected by the Board of Trustees. Board President Michael Berghoff released a statement saying, under Indiana law, the trustees have the sole exclusive authority to prescribe the curricula and courses of study offered by Purdue, going on to say, that is the responsibility we are discharging. Purdue Fort Wayne Vice Chancellor Carl Drummond, who works here, providing this to me today, that our campus uh, will have a representative on the group that oversees the civics knowledge test and assesses the civics literacy program. There will be, uh, Caitlin, a little over a year to work out some of the details before the new cr uh, requirements uh, actually uh, take effect. Uh, like them or not. Back to you. A lot of questions I'm sure will be answered for everyone. Jeff, thank you.